Hey everybody! So in my video that I think was called something like 21 sunscreen mistakes that I've made as an adult, I'll link it below, I threw out the idea that I could make a video about mistakes I've made regarding sunglasses because it's a trickier subject than you might expect. And one of you said that you'd love that, so here I am. Now, before I made this video, I wanted to see online if there was anyone who was already making all the points I wanted to make because I didn't want to be redundant. And a lot of these points are explained in great detail in a video by the dermatologist known as Dr. Dre. I'll link her video below. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about a few things that she didn't mention and then I'll just quickly go through the most important points that I was going to mention that Dr. Dre went into greater detail on. So with that, let's start out with my additional tips. Firstly, based on the FDA documents that I've read, and any lawyers out there, please correct me if I'm wrong, it appears that although sunglasses are regulated as medical devices, and there are requirements about labeling accuracy. There is no pre-market testing required for the labeling of sunglasses. So a manufacturer can make a claim without having to prove it first. Really the only time that the FDA regulations, again, based on what I have read, any lawyers out there who understand this stuff better, please jump in in the comments below but there is no pre-market testing uh, that would require manufacturers to prove their claims before labeling their sunglasses. So really the only teeth in the FDA regulations is that if sunglasses are later tested, perhaps because of a consumer complaint, hon, oh, you can't do this. If sunglasses are then found to not live up to their claims, that is when the manufacturer can face penalties. So that's the first thing that I wanted to bring up. The second thing that I wanna talk about is fit. You want to make sure that your sunglasses fit very snugly, and here's why. Wherever your sunglasses make contact with your face, they are going to remove, or at the very least, disrupt your sunscreen. This means that if your sunglasses slide around, they can remove sunscreen from an area and then leave that area exposed when they shift back. That's why you want to have very snugly fitting sunglasses. My third tip may seem a little bit contrary to my second tip, but it's really kind of a balancing act. You want to have as few contact points between your sunglasses and your skin as possible. This is because, as we discussed, any points where the sunglasses contact your skin will result in the sunscreen either being removed or at least being disrupted. Therefore, when you take off your sunglasses, say after going inside, those areas are going to be in harm's way. And that's because UVA rays, which are the ones that are primarily responsible for the visible signs of aging, can and do penetrate window glass. Of course, the simple solution to this would be to simply reapply your sunscreen in those, er those areas, but let's be real, how many of us do consistently reapply our sunscreen, especially when we're indoors? So those were all the issues I wanted to cover that were not discussed in the Dr. Dre video. I'm now going to just quickly touch upon each of the points I wanted to convey that Dr. Dre already discussed in greater detail in her video, again, linked below. I apologize, I'll be looking down at my notes from tip to tip to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. All right, so firstly, we did discuss the issue with the FDA regulations about labeling. However, ideally, you can rely on the UV protection offered by sunglasses if the label claims that either they block 99% or 100% of UV rays, 99% or 100% of UVA rays and UVB rays, or sometimes it can say more than 
98%. You get the idea. Also, or instead, the label may say that these sunglasses protect from UV radiation up to 400 nanometers. That essentially says the same thing. For the next tip, you want wraparound sunglasses, meaning sunglasses that are going to completely protect you from sunlight that is coming in from the sides. Now you may be wondering, what about the top and the bottom? Unfortunately, there are not many sunglasses available to the general public that both meet the labeling requirements and have that 360 degree protection, at least not that I have found. Patients are able to get sunglasses like that after they have, say, cataract surgery. Actually, my dad had surgery for a cataract in one of his eyes years ago, and he got those prized cataract sunglasses. And he actually, after he recovered, allowed me to try using those sunglasses, but unfortunately, they were too big for me. So lastly, the term polarized does not imply anything about UV protection. Uh, I actually used to think when I was younger that if a pair of sunglasses was polarized, that meant that I could rely on it for protection from UVA and UVB, and that is just not the case. So again, you wanna look for one of those labels that, that we talked about. Because the FDA does not require that manufacturers prove claims of UV protection before sale, those labels are still going to be your best indicators. Unfortunately, you cannot deduce anything about UV protection based on the shade of the sunglasses, the color of the sunglasses, or any other characteristic of them. Again, Dr. Dre goes into greater detail on this, so I decided to not include it in my video. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're feeling especially generous, please do subscribe. If you wanna get notifications of future videos, you can click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. And lastly, I would love to hear what misconceptions about sunglasses, either the choosing of sunglasses or the actual wearing of sunglasses that you used to believe. I really wish I'd known all this stuff when I was much, much younger. I've said this in prior videos, but it really breaks my heart that when I have sunglasses on so people can't see all my sun damage in this area, I have literally encountered people who thought I was a teenager. And then when I take the sunglasses off, that estimation shoots up about 10 years. I'm still happy with the way I look for a 36 year old, but just imagining what could have been makes me sad. So please learn from my mistakes so that I know that they were not for nothing. All right, thank you so much for watching.